Have you ever wondered how documents are organized in Transcribus? Let me show you how. Documents are organized in collections. These collections are folders that can contain one or more documents. So you can sort your documents, for example, by project or the type of material that you're working on. Opening the collection, you can see the documents inside. You can also see how many images or pages are contained in each document. In this collection view, you can change the view from thumbnail to table view and back. You can also sort your documents by alphabetical order or maybe show the newest first. In the Transcribus platform, you can also create shortcuts. This means that the document will stay in this collection, but will also be available in the collection that you link it to. Additionally, you can move, copy or delete your documents. If you delete a document, you're still able to restore it for 14 days. Opening a document, you now see the images of the pages. In this view, you can again change from the thumbnail to the table view. And you can also increase the size of the thumbnails and maybe make them a bit bigger. Working with documents, it's sometimes nice to be able to filter them according to status. So as you can see, the images have different color coding and this indicates if the image has been newly uploaded or maybe you have already worked on a page. So let's say you only want to see pages with the status in progress. Simply select in progress and now you can continue working on those pages. This is especially helpful if you have not just three, but many more pages in one document. One last piece of information, you have the option to add metadata to your collections and to your documents. And you can do that by clicking on the document, then edit. And now you can add some information like languages or genre, and you can do the same in your collection as well. Hopefully this has been helpful with understanding the document management structure in Transcribus. And as always, if there are more questions, please take a look at our help center because there is a lot more helpful information there. Thanks for watching and happy transcribing.